I'd like to take a quick minute to wish Paul Williams a recovery. Uh, for those of you who don't know, well, most of us know by now that he was involved in a motorcycle accident in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, which left him paralyzed from the waist down. I guess he uh, damaged 90% of his spinal cord, which um, only gives him the ability to move his uh, his head and his arms. At this point, some reports have said that he's not going to be able to walk ever again. I hope that's not true. Uh, forget about boxing. Um, I just hope that he's able to walk again. I would hate to have to see Paul Williams' story end up in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Uh, he was a very entertaining fighter to watch, even though sometimes he may have frustrated us as boxing fans as far as um, him, him not using his advantages in the ring because when he first came around, a lot of people um, were looking at him as maybe another Tommy Herms just based off of his body frame. Um, but he never really um, fought anything like Tommy Hearns. But he was always exciting to watch in the ring, no matter what happened, no matter if he uh, win, lose, or draw, he was always involved in an exciting matchup. Uh, he went out, he threw a lot of punches, he overwhelmed a lot of his opponents, and he had a great career. He had a great career. I'm happy to hear that he's... Um, saved his money and, and made some investments and things like that so that um, he would be prepared for situations that happen because in boxing, anything can happen. But I just got to say, I hate motorcycles, you know, and I, I'm not trying to insult any of the um, the bikers out there. Um, I do have some, some homies that are involved with, uh, with biker crews and shit like that, you know, black biker crews and shit. Um, so I don't I don't want to insult them because I do know that they really do take their um their biking seriously and shit like that. But I personally hate motorcycles. Um I think the reason for that, um, when I was a kid, I think I'm I was probably about maybe eight or nine years old, um, I was riding my bike down the street and a motorcycle came up on the curb in front of me. And ran into a tree, like just barely missed me. I probably could have gotten hit myself if it had been a few more seconds later. But um, he crashed into the tree right in front of me. Apparently, um, he had a stroke while he was riding his bike, and he was and he lost control of his bike or whatever. But he crashed into the tree right in front of me. Um, he survived because um, I believe he started to slow down a little bit before he ran into the tree, so it wasn't like full impact, but. Just to see that in front of me when I was a kid, that kind of turned me off from bikes right there. And then I was a witness of another motorcycle accident when I was about 14 years old. So I just hate motorcycles. I think they're stupid, um, but to each their own. But um, I think that if you're an athlete, you shouldn't be allowed to ride a motorcycle anyway. Because as far as what my friends who, who have motorcycles have told me is that um, it's not a matter of if you're going to crash one day, it's, it's a matter of when. Now, that's what they tell me. And when they tell me that, I just look at them like, well, I mean, if, if that's the case, then what the fuck are you doing on a motorcycle? I mean, one accident and you could be done. You know, we saw what happened to Daniel Corrales. Um, Andre Durrell was also involved in a motorcycle accident. I, I just, I hate motorcycles. But like I said, I wish Paul Williams a, a recovery. I hope to see him walk again. Um, but this is a tremendous hit to the boxing world.